Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of October the 8th, 2024, a Tuesday. First of all, note that Wednesday FOMC, and I think Tuesday already things will settle down a little bit, potentially, and Wednesday morning tends to be quiet, and 2 p.m. there will be dust, after which, most likely, based on the technical structure, at least, we should be higher up. Should meaning just an expectation, of course. All right, so also notice that although today was quiet, there is no selling here. We have tested the low, and if this holds, and if it, even if it violates the lows a little bit more, but as long as the bull flag remains intact, I think we can expect a move to the upside from here. Let's look at the other ones too, but all the three look good at this point, so I'm just looking for NQ here. And Q, the bear flag is not a bear flag I'm interested in pursuing here because this is part of, at this point, still a bull flag on the daily chart. All right, so I'm treating this as a bull flag. And if we get triggered, I'll consider a long. Also, YM, this is the market where, it, which was a little different. We are consolidating above the breakout as opposed to the ES and the NQ and it is still valid look at this if it gets moving then we'll be ready to go long RTY is also similar here we go so this is a beautiful complex bull flag at this point just uh, in case you're new to premium the line in the middle is the area I'm interested in in going long Usually, by that time, by the time we get up there, we're going to get an algorithmic signal. But whichever candle we get the signal on, this is roughly the area I'm interested in going long. The circle is the area of business. This is where I expect the action to occur. The arrow is simply the direction, the intention of the trade. And uh, red is the stop, the stop that I think is enough to do the trade, and the same distance is where I'm starting to take profits. So this is the plan. And let's move on to some other markets. GC is still giving us a bull flag. This is consolidation on the four hour horizontal. What usually happens, or at least often happens, please be mindful that we do break down, but then we don't stay there, we bounce back up. This, If this happens, that's a bullish sign. And SI, Nothing much happened today. The bullish case on the daily is still intact as much as the weekly structure. And there is one more long setup getting ready here on platinum, if you're interested. Here we go. Complex bull flag on the daily. If it gets going, we don't know exactly where. You see, we would think that we're ready for a long, but potentially in this area somewhere. If we get a couple of green candles, we might be interested in a long trade. The weekly looks very good too. Then we have a couple of agriculturals. Oh, we have, of course, CL, talking about commodities. Obvious bull flags on the four hour chart. And now if you're trading the daily or if you're looking for further longs, I think they might be coming. But after we have this bull flag here on the daily. So I think the next step will be just to build a bull flag here. It might take a day or two or three, after which we might target the previous pivot. Okay, and then let's talk about agriculturals. On most markets, we have longs in progress or longs setting up. Let's start with corn. Here we go, long setting up on the four hour chart as well as the daily. This is what we want to see. The weekly is not bullish, but that's very far we can still do a little four hour trade here, whatever the weekly is doing, okay? And then the next one would be ZL. Here we go, moving to the upside. We talked about this a few times. You could be long on this, in which case you're in a good trade. If not long yet, then consider, and if you're interested, then consider trading this distance here back to the previous pivot. Oats is next. Triggering right now to the long side, nice target area about one R away. So this is kind of textbook. Let's see where it takes us. And then there's soya beans. Okay, well, the four hour is not really bullish yet, at least not ready. But as you notice, this is a bear flag that we would not be interested in trading. Everything is green. 
and is moving as I speak, you see? So we expect this to be a failed bear flag, which would beautifully build a bull flag on the daily, and we would be trading the daily chart. I will need a couple of more candles, but the trade might look something like this. All right, and last but not least, ZW Wheat. It gave us a little back and forth, but the long is still valid, and you can see this as a next bull flag right here. So if you trade agriculturals, there's more than the usual average of good opportunities here on grains. Otherwise, let's focus on the indexes, perhaps the metals, and MBT, let's not forget Bitcoin, which is also moving up. And actually, it is giving us a potential measured move. Always interesting to see how these unfold. The potential measured move would take us back to the previous pivot. This is often a structure that's worth trading. And this could be seen as a pullback because we have touched the Keltner. Okay, so that's another opportunity and it would fit nicely into the daily structure. All right, lots of things to do. Let's focus and we'll be back in the morning. Until then, mindful trading.